This is Andy. This is Chuck. And we are on Chapel Street. So why don't you come and join us for Melbourne Revealed. Hail to the year. <laughs> We're on County Chapel. I'm on the other side. Talk to the viewer. This is Brady O'Reilly's. So those van shoes are only going to cost you 350. Wow. I'm always on train. Been a long time, been a long time, been a long, 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 long. I know so actually exactly how the song goes. I thought it was a bad thing. South Yarra Station, the starting point of today's vlog. Now, I have to look for my compatriot, my compadre, Mr. Jock Reed Hill, who should be around here soon. And we are going to discover Chapel Street with you. <laughs> look what I found! It's better without my glasses. <laughs> it's Jock Reed Hill himself in person. Hey, man. Oh, it's real. Sometimes. I tell you what, have you got anything to do for the next couple of hours? No. Why would don't you, you show me? Would you like to go for a wander with me down Chapel Street? We'll just see what there is. I reckon so. <laughs> Folks, it's Melbourne Revealed. I'm here with Jock Reed Hill, and today we're exploring Chapel Street. Jock, Jock, we've uh, we've wandered down from South Yarra Station along Turak Road. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling, my man? Slightly moist, but other than that, delicious. Yes, nice well day. today, if you look behind me folks, this is true Melbourne weather for you. Uh, we've had a pretty actually dry summer, especially compared to the rest of the country. Mm. Um, but this is the real Melbourne. It's not really raining, but it's not really not raining. Mm. It's drizzle. It's a select drizzle for the whole day, just to make mm. sure you can't do your washing or particularly have a good time, but you can still go out. Of it. So what we're going to do today is we're starting sort of at the city end of Chapel Street here. This is the corner of commercial, not commercial, this is the corner of Turak and Chapel Street. Jock, 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 yes. when you're in Chapel Street, what's your preferred place to stay? Is it the Capital Grand? I mean, <laughs> oh la la, look at these people eating their, their brunch. That looks pretty swank, to be honest. This is a swanky... This is what you need. Napkins, a kind of... Imagine the first is in there. Actual baristas. Yeah, no, it looks lovely. Actual. Baristas who get paid more to make coffee than practice law. <laughs> True fact. <laughs> Tony Bianco. See, now this is what you get up here. This is why I said fashionistas, folks. How many pairs of Tony Bianco boots do you wear, Josh? Mm, three. At the same time? Yeah. So, um, Developed yeah. Developed the feet just to wear more Tony Bianco. Yeah. Ooh, oh, Kampai, which means cheers in Japanese, and it's closed. Yeah, it's a shame. Here, look, see, up here. So what I'm saying is, up this end of Chapel Street, the city end of Chapel Street, like across the road, you'll see you've got I mean, I don't know who the heck these are. I'll be perfectly... Wait, MJ Bale, that's one of my go-tos for suits. <laughs> um, look here, we've got LTRO. I don't know how you pronounce that. Latro? I don't think you meant to pronounce it. No. You pay for it. You do, well, you do pay for it. <coughs> you pay for it. Um, anyway, up this end, it's the uh, the high fashion end. Yeah, it does <laughs> This is Bridie O'Reilly's. Chapel Street was named for all the chapels on it. This is the last one left standing. We turned it into a pub. There is also Chapel Off Chapel. Yeah, but that's Off Chapel, not that's On Chapel. It's just Off Chapel. Yeah. I think it's on Commercial Road. And that is not a uh, chapel anymore either. That is now a... I don't remember. It's a theatre. It's a theatre. No, okay. I was just thinking the Astor. That's really. why I brought him. I brought him for, for, for knowledge and there was none. No, I don't know, man. I'm on the other side of the city. Folks, we're here at something. I don't know what it is, but Jock does, or he'll make some shit up that sounds good. Yeah, this is the Chapel Lane Huts. This is where, oh my word, I know where this is. It was a backyard area where they had a, a beers going during the COVID lockdowns. This was the only way they could actually get it going on. And I'm pretty sure it's been sold recently. I had a friend who did all the, the work inside these places. Well, there you go. It yeah, just so happens that Jock is in the know. Now they're bulldozing the whole place and putting up apartments, I think. Chapel Street is not short of pubs. We've passed Friday O'Reilly's and here we have the Temperance Hotel. Yep. Which, uh, the joke's on us. It's not Temperance. Oh, there's a, another bar going. Wait a second. Ooh. That looks like an artisan hamburger. 
Do you want to go into the Temperance Hotel and have an artisan burger? No. Right. <laughs> I know so much here, right? <laughs> totally on train. Have I mentioned how much I'm on train? My jokes are so on train. <laughs> uh, behind us we have lamb on chapel and it smells freaking awesome. But we want an artisan hamburger. <laughs> and we will find one. Along Chapel Street you'll also find a lot of places to hock your goods if you're desperate. Nice. Check out these computers. Yeah. Um, they're not particularly yeah. on trend. No. 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 But, well, those iPods, are, those iPods are probably worth like two dollars. No, no, they're 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 worth huge money. Really? So anyway, here we just stop here. Over here we have Pran Central, which is a um, shopping mall. Pretty much. I'll go on and have a look around. Do you want to try Burgatory? Is that Yes, they are a chain. Oh, I've never heard of them. It's a chain before. Do you want to go and try that then? Yeah. I think Burgatory sounds like an artisan burger to me. Um, Burgatory sounds like a punishment. I like the sound of it. Burgatory. You've been sent to Burgatory. What? <laughs> Yeah, um, I've always loved this one. I've seen. I've never known anything about it, but that is some uh, some lovely street art. It really is. That is freaking awesome. And I think it. it I don't know what it's saying about society, but it's saying something. I'm Probably good. saying you need a burger. <laughs> Here we go, Burgatory. Actually, I think this used to be the uh, Hungry Jacks, oh, shit. which uh, friends in America will know as Burger King. Yeah. Well, here we go. Let's have a look at what we've got here at this artisan hamburger shop. I'm going to go with that. Uh, here we have, uh, so this is a, uh, now what was yours called? The Envy. This is the Envy. This is a vegan burger, so it's, um, it's plant substitute, it's a meat substitute with vegan cheese, lettuce, pickles, tomato, onion, mayo, and relish and mustard in a green bun, mm. as you can see. Uh, and that's what uh, Jock will be eating. And I've got the Southern Fried Chicken Burger. Now, these, this bun here Looks like a... is a potato bun. It's actually made out of potato starch or something. Potato I don't know. Style, yeah. And we have, uh, what are these called? I don't know. I ordered them. Yeah, the potato gems. Potato gems. Yes. Is this what they call in America potato tots? Probably, yes. Yeah. And, of course, onion rings. And um, so here's, here's a genuine quick look at the menu. Um, and the whole concept of this place is the seven deadly sins. Burgers based on the seven deadly sins, sending you to Burgatory. Let's uh, find out. Go on, yeah. go on. Take a bite. This is why I got in here. Oh, by the way, it's not cheap. All this costs 55 bucks. And a drink, two drinks. You're never a mad fan when they have to actually put dye in the bun. That's a good substitute. I like that. Yeah. How beefy does it taste? The texture. They've nailed the texture as opposed to the flavor. It tastes a little nutty. Like a man. Well, there you go, guys. Burgatory. Okay, well, we're going to chow down, and then after we've chowed down, we're going to check out the Paran market. Folks, we've just taken a little detour about 50 metres down what is known as Commercial Road because this here is uh, the entrance to the Paran Market Shop. Um, but here you go. We'll just have a quick look here. Cleo's Deli. Deli, deli meats from the Nile. <laughs> Jesus, look at that. eggs and I'm flexitarian 90% <laughs> but I'm not giving up cheese. Oh, no. I, I love Rockfall. I didn't get any today but Rockfall is good. It's about the people we meet. Yes it is. A lovely lady who lives in Thailand who's flexitarian and loves Rockford, Rockford cheese. 
Um, How would you like the taste of um, Australia's most expensive dip? Yes. Australia's most expensive dip. So this oh, is yeah, this is goat and sheep cheese combined with truffle. Oh, this sounds fantastic. And the claim is it's the most expensive. You can have it. I'll give you some. Oh wow. <laughs> um, you can have it on its own with red wine. You can put it through pasta oh. if you like. What do you the think, Josh? Mm, the truffle in that is so good. That is yeah. a, That's no, not. It is. It's, it's uh, salty. It's, it's full of flavour. But it's full of flavour. It's, it's not overpowering. Most dips have a tendency rich. to really smash something into you, and that's just. Ooh. Wow. The Rolls Royce. Thank you very much. Dips. And that's what we just had the yeah. Rolls Royce dip. It's a hundred A kilo. A hundred a kilo. Wow. And you promise there is no more expensive dip anywhere in Australia? Wow. Thank you very much. Sorry, what was your name? Nahida. Nahida? Nahida. Nahida. Thank Nahida's you. Choice. It's either my choice or no choice at all. Fair enough. <laughs> Nahida's choice, folks, where you too can try the world's most expensive dip. <laughs> Jock is absolutely enchanted by this place. Here we go into the main hall, the Harvest Hall, I think, or the Harvest something. Uh, and there's John Belushi. Yes, doing his thing. Fruits are plenty. I really wish I lived here. Flowers. <laughs> Look at this. Persian fairy floss. Let's try it again in English. Persian fairy floss. Vanilla. That's for you for anyone watching in America, that's cotton candy. Persian cotton candy. Snowballs covered in chalky. Mm. Variety bites. Wow. Yeah, the Over there we have the organic grocer. I think uh, a lot of the stuff here is definitely organic. Yeah. And um, certainly if you uh, like a choice of cheeses, you won't be disappointed. Absolutely not. Vino, vino, vino. Okay, Jock, what do we think of the pram market? Very good, very cheesy. Very, very good. As we wander down Chapel Street here, uh, we've now moved into, well, obviously, the suburb of Paran, as we had the Paran market and Paran Central. Uh, so, there's a whole building that hasn't been painted for about eight million years. And look, it's, it's got, I wonder what's going on in there. Fascinating. And this is Paran Town Hall. And that's Greville Street down there. And that's got a, that's a very, very hip, funky, uh, new age place to go. Uh, with lots of artisan coffee shops. And uh, it's free artists. Word of today. <laughs> On trend and artisan. And so here we have Paran Town Hall for you. You can get your, hey, and today, Jock is finally getting his COVID vaccination. Yay. Here's a legendary kebab shop, which I think was featured on TV or something one day. I think so. But here's a really cool little um, place for a drink. It's called Jane Doe. And here, my friends, the Chapel Street Bazaar. What delights will we find? Who knows? This cabinet is not real, is it? It's all very phony. <laughs> Doc just comes to laugh at my jokes, really. Collectibles are your thing, or jewelry. 
this is a place to browse and they have all these different stalls and you have to tell them the number and you go up to the front desk and they come and they they work out how much you have to pay and everything um, I actually my favorite thing used to be come here I was trying to fill my record collection we've got heaps of records here yeah. um, so records collectibles jewelry antiques anything that would comfortably be called retro by yeah. the standard you're applying for like Andy and Jock or a fur coat that has not one not two but three anti-theft devices on it There's just so much here that they can't even sort it. They just go bash, you just <laughs> dump it on the table and... Look, and he, he, right here, Jock, we have a, um, a suitcase rescued from the Titanic. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Check it out. If you just want a random brush. Oh, it's out of teeth, mate, not random. It's a big cleaning brush. Comic books here, down there, LPs, LPs, more LPs. What is the random thing? Moving Pictures Matinee. Well, that Moving Pictures were an 80s band. Squeezed Out, 20 original hits, Utopia, some of the greatest albums ever released. And Jock, you know what the funny thing is about records? What is the funny right, thing? If you about? come here 20 years ago to buy records, the fun, same records. Like, there'd be like six, seven, eight bucks for an LP. And now the records are back in vogue. Oh, it's yeah. like 50, 60 bucks There's for the same thing. Let me introduce to you the one and only Jock Reed Hill in Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Oh yeah. tape recorder. Can't believe they went out of fashion. <laughs> They're so practical. Yeah. And here, I thought you'd like this cabinet. Check out all the cool stuff. So Jock, what did you think of the Chapel Street Bazaar? It's bizarre. Down here is the mighty Windsor Station. We're gonna go that way. On the Sandringham line, where I took the train every day to work. Well, this is where I got off. Ah, uh, Windsor Station, those were the days. Well, folks, that was Chapel Street with Andy and Jock. Yes. What do you think of Chapel Street? I really like Chapel Street, to be it's, honest. It's, it's really awesome. It's like it's a really great way to spend a few hours just wandering down and just poking around in all the different spots. Absolutely. What was the highlight? I have to be the bazaar. Bazaar. There's a lot of very nice things I up can't... there, but the bazaar is a special place. I, it seems like almost a weird hole of, of merchants in there, and you just can't quite understand why any of them are there. I can't help but disagree. Jock, thank you so much for joining me on <laughs> Melbourne Revealed. Oh, yes. Next week uh, is the last Melbourne revealed for a little while. It's going to be the Crown Casino, and uh, we'll be seeing Mr. Adrian Valenta return. But thank you so much for today, Jock. It's been an absolute well, thank pleasure. Thank you, Andy. It was a good time. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care wherever you are. Like, share, subscribe if you want. I don't care. Well, I do kind of care. Please <laughs> think about it. Like it really doesn't. You just have to go click. It's, it's whatever. Anyway, 
May the journey never end.